So to download the mobile extems, you can go to the Google and you can type the mobile extem download free. And after that, you will see the site for this mobile extem. So mobile extem X server with SSS, Telnet and RTP and VNC. So you can click on this link and after that you will see the two editions. One is the portable editions and one is the installer editions. So we want to install on the Windows machine. So I will select the mobile XTEM home editions version 22.2 .2 installer edition. So I will download this one. I have already downloaded this one. So once it's downloaded, you can go to the folder and you just unzip the folder. So it will unzip the folder. Now you can see the mobile extra installer is there. So this is the MSI file and which we can install by just double click on the Windows machine. So this is welcome to the mobile extra setup wizard. So you say next, select the agreements, next and you select the location so it will take the by default locations select the next and then install okay now click on the finish there you can see the one shortcut is there so to open the mobile extreme you double click on this shortcut and it will open the mobile extra window so first time when you're going to start this one it will take few seconds to load and it will prepare the files for the startup this is the personal edition version okay so this is the the look uh, which we can use for the mobile extreme and here you can choose the theme so you want the white or you can take the black one so i will select the black one dark theme i will select and then here you can see the sessions servers tools game sessions and view and this is the ui part and here this is the your cli part so you want to start one terminal so for that what you can do you just start local terminal now it will start the local terminal now you can if you want to connect with any session so you can go to the sessions and here you need to connect with the sss session telnet rsh rdp vnc ftp so which one you want to connect so basically we work with the sss connections so i will select the sss and here the remote host number so as of now i have launched the, this ec2 instance so i want to access this ec2 instance this is called the jenkins server so for that i will go to the detail sections and under the details are the public ip4 address so i will copy this one and then i will go to the mobile extent and here i will paste this one and specify the username so default username ec2 user so it will provide the ec2 user you can go to the advanced sss settings and to connect with that we need the username and the password so earlier we have downloaded the one key which we called as the sss private key so i will use that key and let me upload this key so for that I will go to the folder of the AWS into the AWS we have the AWS key pair so I will open this one and then I will say ok it seems to be first time you are connecting to this server so you will get this message and the remote server yet unknown by mobile extent so I will accept this one and once I accept this one it, it will authenticate so now you can see that I log into the Linux machine which I have created through the AWS EC2 instance and you can see this is the URL HTTPS AWS Amazon.com and Amazon Linux 2 machine AMI machine so this is the AMI machine Linux machine where I have connected now I am on the EC2 user 
at this IP address. Now, this is we use the mobile extems to connect with a Linux machine. This is the Linux machine which is run, running. Okay, this is the instance ID and this is in the running state, and the details are here. Okay, now. Uh, how to connect with this Linux machine for that I will use the mobile extem and I will go to the sessions and provide the SSH key key pair now it's connected to this session okay so this is how we can install the mobile extem 